Yo, what is going on guys? And today I want to talk about Juan Toscano Anderson, the man who's been playing on the Golden State Warriors, and he's still on a two-way contract, but he recently had a 20-point performance, which was a career high, and it was amazing. He's been proving more and more that he definitely is a person who should be part of the rotation on a nightly basis. And I'm not just talking about for the rest of this season, but the next season as well, made for the foreseeable future. And Kevin, not Kevin, Steve Kerr said that Juan Toscano Anderson understands the game on a sophisticated level and he fits the Golden State's read and react system very well. And I think that the fact that Steve Kerr is starting to acknowledge and saying that he's beginning to trust him and that he does warrant a spot on this roster, it's a great thing. And if you guys haven't been paying attention, he's a guy whose game isn't flashy. He is really a blue collar, grit and grind, just hustle player. If you wanna look at his stats so far this season, he's been pretty good. He's been playing 39 games so far, about 18 minutes a night, getting 5.1 points, shooting 58% from the field, 43.9% from three, 3.8 rebounds, 2.2 assists, about 0.6 seals a bit game, and about half a block a game. And on some nights he'll get a, He'll just give you one block and one steal game when he gets more and more minutes. And I think if you look at his past couple games, it's been a lot better. Like if you look at his last eight games where he's been playing 13.8 minutes, but he's just been shooting lights out. And the thing is, is when he shoots the ball, he's really good. And I think the fact that right now, I just think it's him getting his confidence, getting the fundamentals down, understanding the game, which he's showing. And I know he's an older guy, that he's 27 years old and I think he could be a Golden State Warrior for the next five years a guy who comes in and fills that Iguodala role plays really really hard defense is gonna hit you know attempt three four three-pointers a game and hit those at a good percentage between 38 and 43 percent percent which is amazing and he comes in and plays maybe one he averages probably about 10 points 12 points but on some nights he can go off and be great like we saw in the in the past i just think he's definitely a guy who plays a game with very high basketball iq is a good athlete not not an insane athlete but a good athlete to stay in front of everybody and he he doesn't rely on athleticism he relies on his instincts and his high basketball iq getting into position being at the right place at the right time trying to limit his mistakes and that's something you see this year he right now has less than one turnover a game or about one turnover a game because it's 0 0.9 but that is less one than one turnover a game and he only has in 39 appearances this year 36 turnovers again he's really good at not making mistakes turning the ball over he goes out there plays a good brand of basketball just mistake free basketball try to be the best positive player for a team that he possibly can be and you can't get mad yes yeah, PR is only 12.95 95 you can say I don't know why I said 95 and I think that's just because of his lack of minutes and then sometimes he's out of the rotation and sometimes in it I really think Juan Toscano Anderson needs to be warranted a multi-year deal he's 6'6 209 pounds 210 pounds I think he's a guy that really fits this roster when you look at the Golden State Warriors is a perfect second unit spot starter for this team. I don't think any other team besides maybe the San Antonio Spurs or Toronto Raptors could make could have discovered a player like Juan Anderson Toscano. Because if you guys didn't know, Juan Anderson Toscano played in I think he was Mexico for a few years. He started out at Marquette. And he played at Marquette. You know, he was good at Marquette. He went and played in the Liga Nacional de Baloncesto Profesional, which is the top basketball league in Mexico. Then he played in, again, in another Hispanic league, the top level of Venezuela. And following that, he went and played at the top level of, again, in the top level of Mexican basketball. It's just crazy that he played in three Hispanic leagues or three for three separate Hispanic teams. And then finally in 2018, three years ago, when he was 23 years old or 25 years old, he finally got there. He actually just recently turned 28. I said he turned 27. But I think his career is just really interesting where he just came from. 
and how he fits on this roster. Right now they have Steph Curry next year. I'm assuming they probably won't keep Kelly Oubre, but let's say they do. It'd be Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins. I mean, probably Clay Thompson there, then Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, and James Wiseman. Or they could put Draymond off the bench or James Wiseman off the bench and put Kelly Oubre at the power forward position and have Draymond or James Wiseman off the bench with Juan Toscano Anderson, Damian Lee, Kent Bazemore, you know, Jordan Poole. Nico, Nico Mannion sometimes looks good, but, you know, they probably bring somebody else. I just think it's interesting. That's it, guys. I'm done.